Hi everyone, thanks again for tuning in for another one of my videos. Uh, this is a batch of multicolour vinyl releases um, from America. Uh, so kind of American heavy rock bands. Um, these are primarily from a label called um, Majestic Mountain. Uh, <coughs> so I'll just run, run through these quickly, but they are some very pretty vinyls here. First one is um, a group called Red Mesa, Red Mesa, called Partial Distortions, and it's got a hype sticker there. Uh, uh, it's limited edition. I think these are these are quite limited pressings, maybe two hundred, two hundred and fifty made. It says made in Czechoslovakia. But uh, got a nice, nice gatefold sleeve. There's a few of these with the gatefold sleeves. Inside you get a nice insert with uh, track, uh, song lyrics and credits. And the vinyl on this one is a quite a pretty marble. Sort of tangerine and yellow. So a bit more standard, but uh, I just thought that was a very pretty colour. And uh, yeah, I like that style. Just wanted to do like that style. <coughs> and orangey red. So well, that's a red messer. Partial distortions. Uh, so the next one is a group called Kalel, which is a Mars. So non gatefold this time, but a majestic mountain label again. Uh, so, sleeve is a mixture of, of <laughs> paganism and aliens. Uh, very, very nice, thick, heavy printed insert with that little story. Um, and the vine itself. Is very interesting, beautiful quadrant, um, deep yellow and deep red, and then black, uh, and then if you look at the other side, the black kind of forms a, a thick stripe with yellow and red peeking through. So very pretty, very unusual. I don't think I've got one quite like that. That's a definite uh, one for me. And I'm going to get around to playing all of these because the ones that I've been playing have started to really, really get into this music. Um, listening to a lot of new music as a result of these explorations into uh, heavy metal, death metal, whatever you want to call it. A lot of it's quite clever and quite um, not progressive as such, but um, creative. This one is Dirt Forge and it's called Interspheral. Interesting cover design. That's the back. Again, Majestic Mountain is the label. Again, you get a, an insert. I like that. Nice track lists. And the vinyl on this one is really, really lovely. So bright opaque blue with yellows where they cross over you get greens of different shades and hues. On the 
other side, a bit more black splatter. Evident, so how nice is that? It's a record. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. These aren't mega expensive. Um, again, I think they're probably sort of limited to runs of maybe 250, maybe 500, I don't know. But um, <coughs> it's just gorgeous. The next one is uh, Draken or Draken. I think it's just a self, uh, self-titled record by the group. Dark looking imagery, a bit scary, majestic mansion again. The label, <coughs> I don't think. Oh, there is an insert, I thought there is an insert, just, just the song lyrics uh, on that, and the vinyl. is that so you've got a very dark brown near black with bright yellow and green splodges splattering outwards and with some patterning within them so again you know, quite amount of detail to create these effects. And I uh, did it on the press, so I like that very much. Yeah, very nice. And the colours obviously match the uh, the sleeve. That's Draken. Uh, a couple more to go. This one's called uh, I Am The King by The King's Pistol. <clears throat> so Majestic Mountain again is the label. Uh, this one I think comes with a poster. Yeah. So quite a nice poster. And the vinyl is just purely wonderful, 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 wonderful. So you've got a kind of mustard yellow with, what can you say, bright red splodge. And then you've got interspersed there, black splattering, uh, which against the yellow almost forms a kind of a green. See that? And on the other side, it's the same, but with a bit more of the red and black splatter. So that side, more of the black coming through side more of the red coming through so really really fantastic and I, I love having discovered these pressings and um, as I say I've played a part of that record um, which I really liked actually um, it's a three piece with some additional musicians on the sessions, uh, 2021 that was made. But I did quite like the music on that. And the last one is um, by a group called Devil's Witches. It's a bit rude, so I won't, uh, I won't say the title. I don't normally, or put it this way, I normally avoid records that are uh, seen or, uh, should we say, overtly sexy store whatever but uh yeah well, sex pistols you make excuses for don't you so make exceptions for 
Um, I shouldn't be so puritanical, really. Um, but that's the sleeve. <coughs> and you'll see the reason why I was tempted to get this one. Uh, again, you do get a an insert. Some interesting imagery. <clears throat> and so this one, um, uh, it's a single sided uh, record, which I should have made clear. So the playing side is half red, half white, with a bit of black splatter on it. But if you turn it over, you've actually got. Uh, it's it's a if you show it on the light it's printed onto the vinyl so I don't know whether it's laser etched but it's actually solid printed devil's witches onto the vinyl which is keeping the obviously the black and white uh, sorry the black and red with the the red and white sorry the red and white with the black splatter happening. So again, just a unique presentation of a record. I love that. Uh, and again, I've listened to that, and I do, I do really like like it. I'd say it's a mixture of it's kind of it's a bit like Sabbath around the Sabbath bloody Sabbath period. Um, uh, with a bit of almost King Crimson-y um, stuff going on on some of the tracks and uh, some nice acoustic playing as well so yeah interesting stuff so I just thought I'd show you those and uh, there is another batch of stuff coming through um, with some Deep Purple related um, pretty vinyls so uh, hope to see you for those but thanks for watching and see you next time